Our in-depth coverage continues now. Earlier today, we talked with Rhode Island's local colleges and universities who say they have no students currently in Barcelona. We also spoke to a AAA spokesman who says they have several clients preparing to travel to Barcelona in the near future. They tell us there haven't been many cancellations or postponements, but we pose the question tonight, is it still safe to go? The possibility is 100%. Probability is very low. Even low probabilities call for high preparation in light of yet another terror attack. Eyewitness News Analyst Lieutenant General Reginald Centracchio is weighing in. So I think uh, we should feel safe, uh, not overly confident, but certainly mm -hmm. safe. General Centracchio says the U.S. already has security measures in place, with intelligence working around the clock to prevent an attack here in the States. But he says responsibility also falls on the individual. Know where the exits are. Know that uh, if something happened, you'd be able to get out of the mid, the midst of a crowd. Always have an exit strategy and always remain alert. Be aware of your surroundings. Uh, don't put yourself in a position where you can't make an exit. Uh, and just uh, enjoy life in the best you can. The general advises Americans to heed any travel warnings issued by the State Department, but adds that we can't give in to fear. We're Americans, we're free, we want to enjoy life, and we need to continue to do that, because if we stop that, then we will have lost the battle against terrorism. The general says he doesn't believe there's an imminent danger to the United States, but the events in Barcelona serve as a good warning. And count on Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of the Barcelona attacks on air and online on WPRI.com.